Hello, hello, and welcome to Losers Become Winners with XLE exiting at 150% in 33 days and getting back all its losses to get retired to the winner's circle. That's why we have the red sweater guy up, and here it is. We got out at 7.05. Three things we have discussed here on XLE. First of all, is that we are we got out with a profit, 7.05 against a go to 282 divided by the... Uh, profit was 423, came out to 150% for 33 days. So 423, three contracts, 1269 minus $4 for fees, 1265 minus 426, which gives us back 619. That's the first point, the profit. Second, XLE5 is now retired to the winner circle. Why? It won back all its losses, but XLE will be pay playing again. Here's what happened. I was playing penny stock, energy penny stocks a few years ago, and I lost money on those penny stocks, but I carried them forward. I kept records of those losses, and then when XLE came up to play from one of the penny dead stocks with dead loss leaders for its loss, it lost its own trade. So it had an additional loss. But those losses are, can't be added to dead loss leaders because they're dead anyhow. So the result is that XLE incurred its own loss of 646 and now it's paid now number three on the point i got exited down here at the bottom of the candle what happened was this was a put i should have gone and said 2976 or higher and i still would have been in the trade what happened was i was working on the tigers account and the price channel and, I'm, and what happened there was I was working on Duke. And Duke, and Duke is, on Duke, what happened with Duke is that this was a call and it was using glass bar low right there. So when I switched from here on the call with glass bar low back to XLE to set the finish up its order, I got my signals crossed and instead of putting 29.46 or 76 and higher, because this is a put, I did the low. And sure enough, I got stopped out at 6.30 in the morning, but that's what produced the profit. These errors will happen sometimes in your favor and sometimes they will not. And notice that, it, remember we have had loss, we have had losses in the past where I made a couple of errors and the losses were then accumulated to that position of that loss. Okay, with that said, we're now moving on to Walgreen who is now in second position for the alphas. And they're doing good. I mean, price is kind of flatlining, but you see the 30 day keeps ever so much crawling down. And if we can get price action for another 46% down here, we can go to last bar high because this is a put. And because very important to you when you have several strategies, if you're using several strategies, you make sure you know which are the exits that apply until it meets a your overall condition. So IBT, ITB is now our next position. And it's um, the 30 day moving average is here, and it has to cross here before I can start even considering putting in a trend line. That puts us to our next, our next positive of T for AT&T. And there we are with AT&T, and now it's starting to creep up along here and and maybe encounter some kind of resistance here where it can be reverse direction because it's a put. Uh, if not, we might get out with a, maybe a break even. All right, that takes care of the alphas. Let's move on to the tigers because the tigers are the next big story, and that is Duke at 131%. There we are for Duke at 131%, and it's a call. So we did get to do last bar low right there and then come to the bubble and check the bubble below 88.68 there it is and now this got also a position of any out will do we owe duke only owes 769 and we're at 12 
hundred. So any out will do to cover the 769 plus um, trading fees. The end result is we are now able to retire Duke off the Tigers, giving the Tigers a point, and the, then the Tigers only having one less loss leader to deal with. The second in position for the Tigers is CVX. Remember, this is price channel. We are dealing with price channel, and that becomes very important to remember. Uh, there we are. So uh, you can see that every so slightly it drops and drops, just like the 30 day moving average keeps on down. So does price channel. Okay. And this is a put. So we're looking for another 23%. We can get another 20% push down here. We can end up getting into the 100 ROI high as a put for CBX exit. That takes us now to Edison. And Edison here is there is edison and edison remember that edison is conditions uh this is price channel uh we are at 55 another 45 percent we need another 45 percent up in this region and then we can go to the last bar low because it's a call to hold on to that profit and if we can get enough to maybe rock become pebbles pebbles become profit profit does pay back Okay, that takes us now to American Electric. And American Electric is also a call. It's going in a nice up direction. And our price channel is, first price channel exit is down here. Wait for that move. Or we're able to accomplish the 68% um, needed to get the 100 ROI for AEP. That takes us now to IYR. Now, YR was a bit of a surprise. And the reason why it just joined us today and it already established itself with a almost 15% profit. So uh, we'll see how that will write out. Coming down to our last one, and that is UAA. Now UAA has really been interesting because of the drama that it went through. And that drama was that it, um, uh, it went up went up come down got very negative came back up and now we're here and that's the good it's only 10 percent but again the price channel will move up slowly along the way just as the moving average does but in a little bit more flat line position of zones okay well that does and everybody else is lagging behind so that does conclude today's report for Losers become winners with XLE moving to the winner's circle, paying its full payback for its owed, exiting at 150% in 33 days. Tigers 5, Alpha's 11. And with that, I thank you. Bye-bye.